tomorrow? 7.30 in the morning. Was I free? Okay. Yeah, okay. So, so we're talking about the Mishnah, which talked that you that if a, a, if a violin string or a guitar string that the Levium played broke, so there was a machlokas. Could they tie it with a bow? Could they do a regular tie? And we said, Rabbi Liezer allows you to tie because he allows heksher mitzvah. Rabbi Liezer de Mila, just, that just like you're allowed to boil water on Shabbos for the child, because even a heksher mitzvah is docha Shabbos. So he allowed tying the, uh, tying the guitar or whatever the kinor is, a, a harp, so but if we're going to say it's Rabbi Yezer, I feel like So Rabbi why was it only a nadach lechatchila case? According to Rabbi Yezer, it should be even lechatchila because the hechsher mitzvah is doicha. It's a different machlokas. The Tanya and Levi shenifsa kolonima bekinor. A levy, his guitar broke a string. So the Tanakhama says, Koshra, you're allowed to tie it. Rab Shimon Oimer Oinva. This is our Mishnah, where our Mishnah said you, can, you can't do a regular tie, you, you do a bow tie. And that's why the, the, the Gemara is bringing this Baraisa to show that Rab Shimon of our Mishnah is this Rab Shimon. Rab Shimon Ben Elazar Oimer. Well, if you do like Rab Shimon and tie it in the middle, it's not going to make any sound. You draw the string, I guess, and tie it only milmala, like, you know, the way our guitars are tied up on the top, or vice versa. Because then if you tie it, it'll make a, a noise. Okay. Okay. That hava hava rabbanon. Both cases are rabbanon. The loy kasha, kan be'emtza kamen atzad, means when you one holds, he can tie it from the middle, and the other says no, he can. He, he won't make a sound. He'll tie it only from at the top. The boy say hava hava be'emtza. Both are talking about tying it in the middle. The only question is, are we goyzer? Mar sarver gazrinon, umar sarver loy gazrinon. That means if you let them make a bow tie. Maybe we should be goys or not to do that because you'll come to do a regular tie. Mishnah. You have an animal that has a wart. So, and you don't, and, and the wart is a mum. Now by removing the wart, it's no longer a mum, you could offer it. So the Mishnah says you can cut the wart off. We'll see how. Only in the base of Migdash. Because remember, ain't shvus be Migdash. There's no rabbinic zeris in the Migdash. The isser to cut it off is only rabbanon. We'll see why. Because here you're doing it with your hand. You're scratching it off. You're not doing it with a kli. If you cut off with a kli, it's a isser malach amidaraisa. But here you can cut it off. You can scratch it off. Really, it's a rabbinic isser. But the the, the the rabbis lifted their isra in the Migdash, because ain't shvus be Migdash. Of a lobe Medina, outside the base of Migdash, you can't scratch it off beyond. In Bikli, can the Of course, if you use a scissor or a knife, so you can't, it's, it's also Midaraisa. You'd have to bring Korban Khatas. Right, the Avmalacha, the oil vein of Mishan and Mikamah Shois in Bachol. The Reminu, I'll ask you a Kasha. So, air of Pesach can fall on Shabbos. And you can offer the Korban Pesach on Shabbos as well. However, 
let's say here, Kiveo Veivosa Mechutz Latchum. So you're allowed to carry the sheep even Chutz Latchum. Because remember, Tchum is only rabbinic. The Chaticha Yabalaso Ein Doichet. Excuse me. So the Tanakhama says carrying chutz l'tchum and cutting off the yabeles, not with a kli, just with your hand, are not doiche Shabbos. So you would not be able to offer this sheep on, even though offering the korban pesach is a mitzvah say that the lack of performing it has kores. You don't have the heter to do it because bringing it chutz l'tchum is a rabbinic iser, but we don't relax rabbinic iserim. Only Rabbi Yezer re- relaxes that. However, our Mishnah said, So how come this price says we don't relax the rabbinic iser? Just like our Mishnah says, How come this price says you're not allowed to be choytech? And even there, it's performing mitzvah sasechiyesh pokores. Of course, Rabbi Yezer omer doichin, because Rabbi Yezer allows you to be doich even a midoraisa. These are only rabbinic. So how do you explain the steer of the, of the Baraisa we just quoted and our Mishnah? So two ways. Rabbi Lazar, Rabbi Yosef ben Chanina. Chad Amar Hava They're both talking about a moist wart. See, a dry wart is like nothing. It's like, it's like Afra Ba'alma. So there would be no Isra at all. By a moist wart, it's, there's an Isra. We'll see. Either it's a derived kiss or a rabbinic kiss. And loy kasha, our mission that permitted it is biyad, because that's it's kilaachar yad. It's not the normal way of doing the malacha. And the chachamim relaxed their prohibitions b'migdash. And the brisa that said they don't allow it is bikli, because using a kli is midoraisa. You would not be allowed to relax that. That's one way of explaining the steer between the mission and the brisa. That they're both talking about biyad. It means if you do it biyad, a yavesha that's not doing anything. But by lacha, if it's moist, you are doing something. And that's the brisa that says that it would be problematic. The one that that differentiated the Bryce and the Mishnah because saying that one was a case of Yad and one was a case of Kli. My time, Allah, Amar Habalacha, Habi Yavesh. Why didn't he say the other Teretz? Because Arbalacha Yavesh, I feel a bit Kli Nami Shari. You know why? Because Yavesh, you could even cut off with a Kli. My time, Ifruchi Ifricha. It's like dust, Baalmut. It's like nothing. Now, vice versa. The Mandamar Habalacha, Vaibi Yavesh. The Mandamar who explained the stira between the Bryce and the Mishnah by saying one is moist and one is dry. My time alarm or Why didn't he give the answer that one was talking about Yah, one was talking about a Kli? Hatnan. Because it already said the Kli, our Mishnah, in Bikli, Kanvakan Oster. So what did I, the Idik, what is the other person who does say Yad Bikli? What does he say about that? Wanted to show the steer that even with a kli, Rabbi Ezra allows you to do it. What about the other mandomer, Idich? Because he, he they, they, they had to s- describe a case that was that was a rabbinic, meaning going beyond the tchum only. So he needed a case of rabbinic isr. The Idich. I, what does the other man do? say, Kivu to look Rav Nosson. The Omaha noise is Atzmo, though a high noise is Atzmo, because he's holding that carrying an animal is not an Isser, because a live animal lightens his load. And there's no Isser Deraisa that way. And I've also been called to Tunk Rav Akiva, the Omar Tchumin Deraisa. And we hold like the normal sheet of that. Coming from Chutz Tchum is only rabbinic, but Rabbi Kiva held it was a deraisa dekadin. Mostly Rav Yosef. Amar Rav Yezer Kavachoyme. Umashchita shehi mishum malacha. Doiches Shabbos. 
So shechting the korban pesach on Shabbos, well, shechting is a is is a is an iser deraisa. Yet it's doicha Shabbos elu. These rabbinic isurim shemishem shvus ainu din sheitchus a Shabbos. So Elam Rav Yosef have a had biyad. Really, both cases are talking. It's not a yad and a kli. They're both biyad. Ushvus b'migdash hitiru. And in the base of migdash, if you did an act to help a korban, that was permitted. But shvus b'migdash b'medina lo hitiru. For example, scraping off the wart outside of the migdash doing it in Medina, even though it's an act that normally would be permitted for, for in the Mikdash, it's not permitted. Yosef, Abai, the Carmel, Abai was sitting, learning this sugya. So Rav Safra had the fine question. You were reading a, a scroll, sitting on a stoop in front of your house. And the scroll rolled into the Rosh Rabbi. We said, go a etzlo. You're allowed to roll it back. Now, a scroll, the Kedusha of a scroll is like the Kedusha of the Beis HaMikdash. So the Lord is the Gemara. Now, how come, we're talking about, you're sitting, not in the Beis HaMikdash, you're sitting in your home, in Tel Aviv. Yet we were not goyzer. The Lord has read in Dilma Nafel V'asi V'lasuyi. How come we were in Goizer there? Just like we're Goizer by the previous case, that maybe you're going to come and take it into the Rishul Rabbim. So the Gemara and for the Loi Kimna, don't you remember over there we set up that case for Uskifa Carmelis? We're not talking about the Askufa that was a Rishul Sayachi, but we're talking about the Askufa as a Carmelis, Rishul Sayachim, or Rishul Sayachim. Going from a Carmelis to Rishul Sayachim is only rabbinic. The Kivan de Igdubiado. And since you rolled it up with your hand, I feel it was not me There's no rabbinic answer at all. Because there would be no, there would be no rabbinic answer going from a, there would be no, there would, there would be no answer derisa going from, which is arriving to the Carmelists. Therefore, they didn't, they didn't, the Chacham didn't make a gzera there. I'll ask you a steer. So if it's if it's air of Pesach that falls on a Shabbos. So how do you cook the Korban Pesach? Normally, if you're cooking something air of Shabbos, it's gotta be, it's gotta reach, it's gotta be cooked before. Shabbos starts. You can't cook on Shabbos. That's a gzera shema yechta. You're going to stoke the coals. So that's why it has to be finished. At least Kamichael ben Drusoy. At least has to be one third cooked prior to Shabbos. That's why when you cook up a trulant, Arab Shabbos, got, it's got to be cooked to a certain degree before Shabbos comes, even with the crock pot. So, so they lowered. The Korban Pesach Latan or Im Chashecha, right before Shabbos. Now that goes against our normal law, because no, it, it certainly is not going to cook Kamichael Ben Drusoy if you put it into the Tanner one minute before. The ha'ach the shvus the migdash b'medina is another example of a shvus that technically normally goes on in the migdash. The lokas rinon shema yachta b'kacholim. Yet, how come? How do we allow them to do that? How come we're not worried that they're going to stir the coals? Ishtek, he didn't have an answer. He also commanded Rav Yosef. Amar lehachi amar lehi Rav Safa amar lehi. My time a lot to shani lehi. Why did you give him an answer? You know what? Korban Pesach is not eaten biyichidus b'nei chabura. His reasoning. You eat the Korban Pesach in a group. A group is going to keep everybody honest. Oh, you're going to come to stir the coals? You're not allowed to stir the coals. So we didn't need a Gzair Drabonim. 
The Abaya says no. In the base of Migdash, we don't are goyzer because Kohanim's reason name, Amrina. But Bnei Chabura's reason name, Lo Amrina. But to say that the Bnei Chabura of a Korban Pesach will be his reason that we don't say. Rav Amr Rabbi Yezer, he, that it's the sheet of Rabbi Yezer of Rabbi Yezer de Mila, the Omar, Machshir Mitzvah Doichnes HaShabbos. That you're allowed to do even a Mitzvah Doraisa on Shabbos. However, how come in our Mishnah, it says you should scratch it off with your hand? Yeah, but you have, if you have the opportunity to do a Shinui, then do a Shinui. It's like uh, when we were taught uh, Hilchos in medical school, some of us took Shiurim on you know, how to uh, avoid doing Malach on Shabbos. So even though even though you're allowed to do melachas on Shabbos for the sake of the sakonas nefashos, you try to minimize chilul Shabbos as much as possible. And if you could do something kila achar yad with your left hand instead of your right hand, or whatever you can do to minimize the melacha you do, and that's what Eliezer holds as well. And even though he says machshir and mitzvah are doich Shabbos, you try to do as minimal as you can. Where do we see this principle? Mai, the Tanya Kohen also be yabelis. A Kohen who gets a wart, it's also a mum. Chavero chot cholo b'shinov. So his friend can bite it off. He can't do it himself. He can't do it himself, and he can't use a kli. Bishinov in Bikli Lo. Rashi. The Shvusu Bikli. The Shvusu. That is doing it with your teeth is only rabbinically prohibited. But since it's it's needed for doing the Avoda, we are we remove the Shvus Bemigdash. But Bikli Lo. You can't use a Kli because that's not Midrabona. If I feel Bishinov. Well, why can't he bite it off? No, chavero in ve'iulo. The chavero lo metakin le. The chavero is not getting a tikkun because of it. it. Means if you get tikkun because of it, that's a problem. If you do it to yourself. So that we learned over there in the Shabbos that if your Chavero does it, it's not a it's not a chiyuv midoraisa. So we see the Brisa says, "Bishinovin beklilon Chavero in iulo mani." Now we have to determine who's the author of this Brisa we just quoted. Eid leimer rabbanon. Is it the rabbanon of a migdash? And this is going on the base of migdash. So even the Ami Rabbanon by Alma Mishum Shvus, Hacha. So since the Chachamim say that in general, if it's a Shvus, it can go away if it's in the Migdash. So Mali Hu Mali Chaveru. So then there would be no reason to differentiate between him doing it himself or Chaver doing it. It only makes sense to Rabbi Ezer that the Omer by Alma Chayv Chatis that. Normally, it's a chiyuv chatis no matter what. So what do we come out to say? Even though really Rabbi Ezra normally allows you to perform a malacha on Shabbos because it's a hechshar mitzvah. But, but we should do it either not by yad and you should have your friend do it. So the Gemara wants to use this paraisa by proving perhaps that it's Rabbi Ezer, that Rabbi Ezer learns this concept. Says, Lo. There's no Raya Loyal Rabbanon. It's not Rabbi Yezer. However, so why does Chavero have to do it? Because he also been crazy or Hanami. If it's on his stomach, he can do it himself. But Hachmai is getting Gonchazlo, Meshicha Begabo Vatsila Yodav. It's on his elbow, it's on his back. He can't do it himself. The Iulomatsi Shakalah. 
So the Chaver has to do it. Frank the Rabbanon, the Rabbanon, Nishkla Nia Lebiyad. Why not say that it can be done with your hand? Why do you have to bite it? The Tifshet to Rabbi Yezer. It's according to Rabbi Lozer. Don Rabbi Lozer, Machloikes Biyad. Everybody holds with Kli, it's, it's Chayiv. It's only Machloikes if you do it Biyad. Now, Ulat Tameich, based on that, Rabbi Yezer, Nami Lishkli Niela Biyad. So if Rabbi Yezer is trying to minimize uh, Isser, also let him do it Biyad. Nami Ma'i, Ami Bishra Rabbi Yezer, Haina de Gozer Yad Atu Kli, he doesn't even allow you to do yad because you might come to do a kli. Eliamat Rabbanon, Nishkli Nila Biyad, the Sulamidi. He should only get they, they, they should only give you the option of a yad. There's nothing more to say about the Sulamidi. Mishnah. Koin Shalakabed's bow. Koin has a wound on his finger. Korach Alav Gemi Bemigdish. He can wrap a bandage, you know, made out of uh, reeds around the wound. Even though it's medicinal, right? And the Chachamim are goiser because of Shrikha Samamonim, but because of the need of the Koyen to do the Avoda, it's Tzorach Avodahi. The Lav Orach Ura Shater Makerim Avoda Machasos of So he can he can cover it, even even though it's doing some kind of refuah, because ein shvuos b'migdash, avalo b'medina, and then im lahot sidam if he's doing it tight in order for blood to come out, kan v'kan osur, then it's also no matter what because that's the isra of choivel. That's uh, some kind of nylon, some kind of reed. But some kind of like belt to, to like a tourniquet, that's a problem. The coin is only supposed to wear four begodim. If you pull, put a belt around his finger, it's a fifth begin, and that's a baltoisik. For example, the normal place that you wear begodim. If you add another baguette, then you're going to have a problem with Yitur B'godim. But your finger is not a normal place that you have a baguette. You would not be over the problem of Yitur B'godim. Now, how could you wrap this gemi around the wound? Why is it a chatzitza between the koyin's hand and the kalim? It's, it's a chatzitza. So my answer is a bit small. The coin does all the avoided with his right hand. So we're talking about this problem on his fingers on his left hand. Or inami biyamin avoda. It could be on his right hand, but in a place that he doesn't use that hand for the avoida. And therefore there was no problem with the chatzitza. However, de rava. This is in contradistinction to rava. Dama rava amrav chizda. That b'malkam gorim afilu nima achas choitzetzes. That in a place that a coin wears begadim, even an extra thread will be a chatzitza. Now, shalom b'malkum begadim, in a place that the coin normally doesn't wear begadim, so then it depends. Shalosh al shalosh etzbaos, three by three fingers, if it's greater than that, chaitzitzais. Pachos mi shalosh al shalosh enen chaitzitzais. So, ad rabbi yechlin vade pligi. So Rav Yechlin is clearly not like Rav. Rav Yudah braid Rav Chiyam, maybe not. Me name it like a shiny tzitzel cotton the choshiv. Maybe it's tzitzel cotton that even though it may not be the right size, but it's, it's got chashivus. Lishnachrina Ami Lam Rav Yudah braid Rav Chiyam loishanu elagemi. When do we allow it? This gemi about tzitzel cotton chaitzitz. If it's a little belt, that will be a chatzitza. If Rav Melo Amu chatzitzas b'pachos b'rosh It's only a chatzitza. When do we say that it's a chatzitza el b'bakom b'gadim? So in normal a normal place where you wear b'gadim, al v'shalom b'bakom b'gadim. But in a place that you normally don't wear clothing, then shalosh shalosh chaitzitzais. 
It's got to have a certain shear, three by three. But pachos bishalsh ain chaytetzoyz the heinu de rava, and that is like rava. Okay, we'll stop here. Tomorrow morning, seven. Shkoyach. Shkoyach.